Well, how long you guys been together for a while? Mm. A little over 20 years. Well, there you go. <laughs> now, who are we talking to? From the start over there, what, what's your guy's name? Hi, I would be Ron the drummer. What's up, Ron? <laughs> how you doing? That's you coincidence. Doing? Your, name, your last name is perfect for what you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was faint. <laughs> Sir, you are? Mike Van Wyck, the violinist. Hey, all right. Uh, Brett Alexander, and singer. And Dustin Dravich. And I'm Paul Smith. Oh, nice to, nice to meet all you guys. Yeah, I know. Nice uh, now, Brett, did you start the band? No, I mean, I, I kind of came in about in the second incarnation. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. So, uh... You're like the Brian Johnson of the Bad Leafs. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a back and black for you, right? <laughs> Well, I mean, so it's, it's uh, you have a lot of passion for this, and mm -hmm. are you on the road quite a bit, or...? Oh, we're getting back out there again. Yeah. We, we, um, I mean, we've been around for a long time. We took a little break in the early 2000s, and getting back out there again now, so feels were good. You, were you burnt out, or...? Uh, we got into doing other things. Paul and I started doing a lot of producing of other bands and, you know, getting into that side of things. And, okay. You know, and eventually we made another record and got back out. All right, as long as it wasn't meth. No, <laughs> no meth. <laughs> and Nike, Nike, is that how you say it? Yes, sir. Nike, and, and Dustin, you guys joined the band in 09, Yeah. Right? So yeah. what, uh, how did that happen? How did that work out? I think we both worked with, you know, in the studio with Brett. Yeah, and I think I've been it just probably 2002. We've done yeah. a lot of records with him since. And yeah, we need to uh, bring the average age of the band down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the boom. Yeah. That's right. Well, we're, we're looking for a really uh, thin guy to do the same thing here. <laughs> we got the same sort of thing with this show. Looking for a skinny sort of on-air guy. Uh, how, does but, that, how does that work? Like, I, being a, a violinist. I mean, do you play other instruments as well, or are you strictly? Play a, couple, play a couple different instruments, but violin's my baby. That's that's my forte. So. Yeah, I mean, it just seems like a great score to, to be in a, a band that, that plays, you know, rock music. You know, Absolutely. like, that's that's got to be rare, right? Like, like, was that part of the plan for you, to take your violin abilities and, and you know, play rock and roll? Yeah, absolutely. I've been a longtime fan of, uh, you know, uh, rock music, Jethro Tull and, and whatever, yeah. Jeth same flute. Bring the no, I know. I love yeah. when those uh, non-traditional sort of rock and roll instruments are incorporated. Like even bagpipes are always cool in a oh, yeah. in a rock song, or uh, definitely the flute or the violin. I even like Charlie Daniels. I like I like there that you stuff. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But the, do you go like uh, all over the country? Or do you stay like when you do the road? Do you stay east of Chicago? Yeah. I mean, at the at this point, we're pretty, you know. East of east of Chicago at this right. point, but uh, I mean we've toured the country many many times back in the day when, you know, when we were starting we had a deal and, you know we're out there full time, but uh, we're kind of ramping back up now. A lot so. of work. You really got to sell, sell the records and right, yeah, yeah, and we're, we're independent again and doing this on our own. And, you know. Good. Man. Yeah, you guys had like a crazy situation with like uh, one of your albums where you were in the second year of a deal and and. Uh, they were bought out, and it just got all yeah. screwed up, right? I mean, did that leave a, kind of a bad taste in your mouth, and you said, "Hey, we're just going to go uh, do it on our own now"? Or yeah, that wasn't that wasn't on the agenda. Yeah, right. <laughs> that part of it. I mean, the way hey, stuff happens. Yeah, it does. You know, yeah. it, the way that music is now. I mean, being independent, it's much more doable, right? Yeah, I mean, you can sell. I mean, it's, people still have to know you exist. You know, which. You yeah, know, which is nice to do things like this. You know? <laughs> no, right, you're, you're right. That is, it's a very it becomes a very real thing where like you have to just let people know you're here. <laughs> right. Yeah. You're around. It's hard. You know. Right. Yeah. Uh, do you use social media? Have you embraced that part of it yet? I mean, I know I've, I've been doing stand up for on and off for 25 years, and it, it took me a while to get into it. But eventually, you, sometimes you have to, you know. Mm -hmm. But do you guys get into Twitter and stuff? How do we find John? Twitter or Facebook, where do we well, go? Well, I mean, um, badleys.com is our website. We have a Facebook page. We have a Twitter account, right, Ron? Yeah, we have a Twitter. Ron the drummer knows all about that. Oh, there you go, Ron. Badleys is one. Do you tweet for the band? I tweet for the band. That's cool. Yeah. You, need, you need a tweet guy. He's a tweet. He's a tweet. Hey, uh, the, how, does it, how does it happen that one of your songs gets picked up for the Olympics? I mean, that's a pretty that's big not bad. deal, right? That's, that's the only good way to let people yeah. know you exist. Yeah, how did, how did that work out? Um, we don't really know. It was funny because it was like we 
we had this song and it was a single and the song, name of the song was Fear of Falling and it ended up in women's figure skating. So uh -huh. <laughs> that's nice. That wasn't, you know, that wasn't the agenda, but man, you know. What the cool. hell, man? Doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, use what you yeah. get. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. A, lot of hot, a lot of hot broads <laughs> in that field. Yeah, I mean, that, in that not song. Of, not a lot of fat chicks in figure skating. I mean, it's a great song, but that song ended up being like your first chart right. song, right? Yeah. And then uh, I guess the uh, Caroline after that was uh, maybe Angeline. people knew about Angeline. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, that's right. uh, that was maybe people knew your name a little bit more. And, and because of the Olympics, do you feel like that was a big part of it or just getting your name out? Kind of just getting bottom the name. Line. It's a cumulative bunch of things. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, that, I think that exposure is great. It's hard yeah. to hard to turn that. That was little, literally global <laughs> exposure, you know. Right. Yeah. Um, I'll well, say. we wish you the best. Come back anytime, guys. Awesome. Thanks, you thanks know, for this, having uh, me. Land of boy bands and DJ Tiesto. I appreciate <laughs> you guys coming in and doing your thing. Again, yeah. the Badleys is the name of the band. Epiphones and Empty Rooms. Give me the. Give me. I know this is a question you get asked all the time, but I'm going to ask it. The name of the album how'd that happen what is that it's actually it's part of a song lyric of one of the songs it is yeah yeah is that a, that's a guitar brand i'm, I'm told right. epiphones? epiphones and empty yeah. rooms and empty. yeah uh well that's the name of the record and um check these guys uh out whatever you can you got a gig coming up you want me to mention or something no, we're playing uh, the highline ballroom here in here in town day oh, after cool. christmas with willie nile good gig good gig yeah. Well, come back again anytime, guys, and keep keep rocking. I wish you nothing but the best. Thanks, man. Uh, that's the Badleys, and we'll be back with more of the Artie Lang Show right after these words. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.